like one of my students, my one of my students, I had him listen to another group some some talk they were giving because it was beneficial for them. Okay, so that's that's what that is. So yeah, you know, it, there there are other gurus which are I think that their um, practices and things are beneficial to people, and there are some that I would say you know don't get near, <laughs> you know. I mean, you know, with all this debacle, here we go again, back back one more time. You know, just because they're popular, just because they have a lot of money and they have a big center and they have something, a lot of people going, doesn't mean that they're always beneficial. Because a lot of them, they, you know, they have a lot of charisma, a lot of smoke and mirrors, you know, and maybe they talk a good talk. But what's behind it, you know, is not always uh, not always forthcoming what, what's going on there. And the guru, what's going on behind the scenes should be the same thing as what they're talking at the mic. Not living one life in front of the people and another life behind the scenes. And that's been what's happening so many places, so much hypocrisy. So much nonsense, so much lack of morality. And if the guru is having a lack of morality, what can you say about his teachings? <coughs> really, what can you say? Okay. So this is one thing that one has to, you know, become aware of. You know, it's not just, you know, like I've said before, you can have somebody in the church is giving a great sermon and behind the scenes they're, they're doing, you know, heinous things. And some people say, well, it's their private life. Well, no. Guru has, should have, if it's a <coughs> sat guru and they're claiming to be a sat guru, what private life? Who is there to have a private life? Who is there to be chasing these things? There's no desire to be chasing things like that. So yeah, you know, it, every guru, we're going to have detractors. You're going to have some people that are, you know, going to talk some nonsense. But you have to look at what's coming up and really, uh, you know, look at it point blank for what it is. And people have to come back to morality, you know. People don't want to have morality in their lives, so they say, what well, does it matter if the guru has morality or not? Because then it justifies what they're doing. If the guru is not moral, it doesn't matter. I don't have to be moral. And I can progress. Hmm. That's a fallacy, you know. And just because a guru may have energy and this and that, they might have a kundalini awakening, doesn't mean they're completed. You can have a lot of shakti and you can be doing black magic. Doesn't mean that it's beneficial or that, or that it's, you know, clear, that it's right, that it's balanced, that it's pure. Not necessarily. They can develop cities. Cities can be, be developed whether you're on a spiritual path or not. All by mind power. Okay? And some of them have developed cities and then they lose them. Okay? Then they lose those powers because they are misusing and abusing. Okay? So just because one is showing they can manifest objects or whatever doesn't mean that they're a spiritual person. It doesn't mean that they're pure, that they're a realized being. No. Don't be taken in by that. Just because one is selling a lot of courses, don't be taken in by that. 
when you see their story is changing, changing, changing to suit the crowd they're speaking with, and there's no continuity in it, don't be taken in by that. So we're not here to say I'm the only guru on the planet, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. This is not the only path that you can get realization from. We're not going to say that. Absolutely not. You know, there are many, I'm sure there are many realized beings, many realized gurus, that are beneficial? Absolutely. But there are a lot more fakes, a lot more frauds out there. So just be careful. If you find out this is not the path for you, fine, well and good. Enjoy your life, go your way. But just please, if you're going to a different path, a different guru, look and see what's there. Really look more deeply and see what's there before jumping into it. That's all. That's all. And if you see improprieties rising up, then walk away. Don't think you're doing guru adharma if you, if you leave, that you're going to reap negative karma. Don't think that. Because if you have a guru that's not a guru, what negative karma are you getting from standing, for standing up for truth? For standing up for what is right? So please, at that point, don't walk, run the other direction. So as a guru, it's very sad when I see these fakes, and I see these frauds that are taking these people that are lying to them. Yes, maybe they feel good for a time. Maybe they feel good for a time. But when you see really what's going on behind the scenes, eventually these people will be let down. And some of them, the worst thing that I see happens is because they become abused by these gurus. Then they turn their back on spirituality and they stop their search. And they say that if this guru is like that, every guru is like that. And they stop their progress for many lifetimes maybe. And this is very sad to see. And these gurus think that they have, you know, they, maybe they've convinced themselves they're pathological liars and they've convinced themselves of whatever it is they're saying. Okay. And they think they have no karma. But the teachers have more karma to pay than the other people. Because you are giving direction to these people's lives and you are responsible for what you are giving out. So that karma will come back on them very heavy, if not this lifetime, in the next lifetime. Will be very, very heavy, and I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Okay. Yes. When you appeared, <laughs> uh, there was not the luxury of going to the guru supermarket and picking one. <laughs> you just appeared. Um, I don't understand the guru supermarket <laughs> because the, the path is so precise that the only thing I know to do is just be thankful that you appeared. I don't know what the guru is. I just you know you appeared when it was needed. And I think there's an old saying Dharma used to say about when the sadhak is ready, the guru appears. Yeah. Yes. Where else, well, what are there, there are other versions of the truth? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, there are many times you can.
can be a seeker, and there are a lot of people that do the supermarket shopping, you know. Yeah. They're, they're shopping and they want here and there and this and that, you know. And that's what you're But yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> when you have that genuine heart thing, then you will have an opportunity. Gurus will appear. Sometimes people don't always recognize